sorry, Professor Turner? Yes. Hello, hi. Hi. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Uh, my name is Stefano, sorry to bother you. I am an ISS student. Do you have a minute for me? Absolutely. Have Thank you so much. I was looking at the um, website and I saw that you teach Survey of American Political mm -hmm. Thoughts. Is that correct? That's correct. Can I ask you um, what is the course about exactly? Well, the course is sort of a history of political ideas in yeah. America from mm -hmm. colonial times all the way up to the present. Yeah. We start uh, with Benjamin Franklin in the yeah. 18th century, oh, wow. then go up through the American founding with the debates between the Federalists and the Anti-Federalists. We deal with uh, the, the debate over slavery and the run yeah. to the Civil War, we, the narrative of the life of Frederick Douglass, we look at the political thought of Abraham Lincoln. And we also go through sort of post-war progressivism, the thought of Gene Adams, wow. uh, Cold War, liberal thought, and Reinhold Niebuhr, the civil rights era, Martin Luther King Jr., Malcolm X, James Baldwin. And then we end uh, with sort of post, uh, with, with late 20th century American conservatism, wow. so the political thought of Mil Milton Friedman and Ronald Reagan. Yeah. So what is actually political thought? What do you, what do you mean by political and thoughts? Kind of yeah, well, I mean, pl political thought, you know, really deals with sort of two things. First yeah. off, how does politics work? Yeah. Okay. Uh, so there's this sort of descriptive element. Um, but secondly, um, how should politics be? Yeah. Which is this normative element. So on the one hand, it sort of deals with, you know, what, what kind of uh, assumptions should we work from when trying to figure out politics. Yeah. But also, and I think the most critical part of it, is what should our evaluations be? What judgments yeah. should we make? What do we think constitutes a political good? And uh, what ends should our com uh, political community aim for, yeah. sh shoot at? Uh, those are sort of, that's sort of the substance of political thought. And uh, I, I tell you why I ask you the question, because I'm, I'm sort of like going around and uh, ask a bunch mm -hmm. of professors just because I'm a little bit confused about what course to take. And <laughs> so I remember talking with someone about politics and I kind of had the idea that so politics is something about power or something mm -hmm. about institution. And um, so you as, and you are a political science, correct? Yeah, yeah. Oh, fantastic. So. What uh, what actually politics means to you? It is something has to do. We're talking about mm -hmm. the institutions and the parties mm -hmm. and that kind of stuff, or something mm -hmm. else. Well, I, I think of politics, you know, sort of very simply, is you know the play of power within yeah. any given society. Yeah. Um, and power has to do with you know how uh, do we make decisions for ourselves? Yeah. How do some people make decisions? For others, yeah. how do we sort of set the agenda for our society of what decisions are going to be made? Yeah. Um, and furthermore, I mean, there's the, what what Stephen Luke's the social theorist Stephen Luke's calls the third dimension of power, which yeah. is a way in which, say, media in our society, literature in our society, shapes our wants and desires, yeah. acts on us as persons to. Um, shape our own goals in life, and yeah. in some ways, you know, Luke says that's kind of the the ultimate instantiation of power. It's not just uh, making decisions for people, not just setting political agendas, but shaping what people want yeah. and what people seek in life. Yeah. And that, in some ways, is the most insidious form of power, and it's and it's all over. And uh, and so we try to, within political science, subject that to critical examination. That's I mean, that sounds so interesting. How did you get to get so interested in the subject? Is uh, something that you've always been interested in as a student too, or is uh, part of your research? How you know, you I, I grew up. I grew up in um, in Fort Worth, Texas, and you know, one thing I sort of really observed growing up was how you know it was a very segregated city. Yeah. And uh, and you know, my family sort of lived on the white, you know, better off side of town, and there were always folks sort of coming over from you know the the the, the black side of town who were you know do either working in the garden yeah. gardening or doing housekeeping and so there were these tremendous sort of power imbalances yeah. you know that as a child growing up you know sort of corresponded to the color of people's skin and, mm -hmm. it, and I, I was always sort of curious of how this got to be and so you know as I grew up I studied more and more about sort of the history of race in America yeah. um, to try to come to understanding of how did our society get organized in this way? How did some people that look one way wind up with all the wealth and power, yeah. and some people look another way uh, have a real lack of wealth and power? And so that's kind of how I came to sort of study American history yeah. and to look at sort of the history of American political ideas. And how do you, because that, what, one thing that is very interesting about what you're saying is that 
sort of feels like uh, everything comes together. And again, it's, it's um, something that I'm uh, kind of understanding little by little mm -hmm. with this idea of social sciences and uh, all this kind. So how would you define you as a, how would you define like social sciences from your perspective? Because what you're saying to me sounds like, a, mm -hmm. you know, you have the idea of power, the idea of history. So there's a lot coming together. And mm -hmm. it's just like very exciting because I kind of uh, noticing that there's a lot of instances in which all these things come together. Mm -hmm. So do you think that, uh, how does all this fit into the idea of social sciences? How would you define it? I'm kind of uh, a little bit confused because again, I'm trying to understand how this uh, old degree is gonna go. And since it's yeah. about social sciences, what, how would you define it? Well, I mean, I think that what social science is, it's a study of sort of repetitive pa patterns yeah. in human behavior. Yeah. Um, that if, you know, if we look at societies, from sort of a bird's eye view. Yeah. We see people, uh, not always, but a lot of the time, behaving in the same way over and over again. Yeah. And if we can get a sense of how those patterns work, we sort of enable ourselves to change. Yeah. Um, if we get a sense of how social forces drive us to behave in certain ways, we can, by understanding them, we can make changes in our lives yeah. to achieve the ends that we want to achieve. And in that sense, we can become freer. Yeah. We can become freer human beings. I mean, it, it sounds so amazing. And again, the, it's just like makes you, keeps on makes me wonder, I mean, how do subjects fit in in all this? It kind of feels like all the boundaries between the subjects, um, they're getting a little bit shaky, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. What do you think about it? I mean, do you, how do you make sense of the fact that um, there is this idea of social sciences and, uh, but there are also like these, all these subjects like political science, mm -hmm. history, mm -hmm. how would you, you, because again, your interests kind of cross yeah. many fields. How do you make sense? Do you think it still makes sense to talk about subjects or? How? Well, I think it does. I mean, in, in, in the sense that you know, to understand anything, mm -hmm. you have to come at it from a variety of angles. Yeah. There's no I one agree, angle yeah. uh, in, in which I understand anything, yeah, yeah, okay? Yeah, yeah. Um, and so, say if I'm coming at something from an historical angle, yeah. that requires sort of a disciplined study of the documents of the past yeah. to understand the question of how did this come to be, yeah. okay? But then that's a separate question from another really important question, which is that what should my judgment about this be? Yeah. You yeah, know, yeah, do, yeah. is this a good thing or a bad thing? Whatever social phenomena we're talking about, yeah. okay? And so in order to really understand it, I have to ask both those questions. Yes. Yeah. Um, but in order to, also in order to understand it, I have to also keep those questions separate. But yeah. the question of how this came to be and what judgment should I make of it are two separate questions that require yeah. two different sort of sets of tools. Yeah. And part of what the degree in integrated social science is supposed to do is to give you sort of a full toolbox with different sets of tools that you draw on depending on what particular question you're trying to yeah. answer. And how do you feel about teaching the course online? I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Um, I'm excited about it mainly because it's going to enable me to bring this material uh, to folks that can't get to campus, yeah. that have busy schedules, that have parenting responsibilities, yeah. and so they can fit it into their own schedule. And the, and the prospect of being able to bring this material to uh, you know, a whole other population that can't necessarily make it to, to campus according to a rigid schedule, that's yeah. really exciting to me. And because um, I really want to help people uh, you know, achieve their educational goals, yeah. um, even as they're trying to meet the various demands of life. And yeah. that's an exciting prospect for me. How about like the structure of the course itself? How do you envision it? Like uh, thinking about like uh, how the interaction line are gonna happen and uh, how mm -hmm. people are gonna interact. How do you imagine that? Well, I mean, I think the, 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 the course, I mean, you know, students are going to spend a lot of time, mm -hmm. you know, reading. It's, you just have to spend a lot of time reading these texts in order to really try to understand what's going on. Uh, but then, you know, they're going to be online video lectures. Yeah. So, but I think the most important part is going to be sort of the online discussion forums, yeah. in which you really have a chance to interact with other students in the course yeah. and with me and trying to figure out what the meaning of these texts are. Yeah. And I think the exciting thing is that there's no one determinant meaning. There yeah. are many meanings within yeah. it. So what we're going to be trying to figure out is what are the many meanings that we find in these yeah. texts and uh, what, which ones of those meanings seem most significant to us. Yeah. 
And is there like an author or a book that you think I should start reading or like key text or something or? I think, I mean, I think, you know, just go ahead and, you know, start with the first book on the syllabus. Yeah. Start with Benjamin Franklin's autobiography and go ahead and sort of really sink your teeth into that text. And yeah. um, because one thing that you'll find, especially as you're doing the work for this, this, this course, um, that rereading is going to be as important as reading, that sometimes you're not going to get it the first time around. And so revisiting the text is going to be just as important as yeah. reading it for the first time. Well, w this was uh, very helpful and uh, very exciting. And thank you so much for taking oh, the time. You're very welcome. Yeah, thank good you so luck much. to you. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.